morning. <coughs> it's 8 a.m. Sorry, my throat's a little <laughs> sore. Um, it's Friday, and I'm headed to Equinox. I was supposed to wake up at 6.30 so I could actually, like, leave on time, but I was so tired. And, I, like, I think I said yesterday's vlog, I needed to get sleep from because I didn't sleep like that much the night before last night and so I think I was like genuinely catching up on sleep so hard like I saw I, I went to bed at 8 30 last night I was so exhausted and I think I, I finally feel great I feel caught up now but I mean I probably could have gone up at 6 30 but I just got up at 7 and so I'm running like a little bit late like normally I have 40 minutes to do my workout I think we only have like 30 ish to do my workout today which is fine um, because I also didn't eat breakfast, so that's totally fine. I'm gonna grab like a, <clears throat> a green, sorry my throat. I don't know, I'm not sick or anything like that. <clears throat> my nose felt like a little congested for one day. And like I freaked out, like I'm like, oh my God, I'm gonna make a ginger shot when I get home from everything today. I'm gonna get like this cayenne drink at the Earth Bar. Like, no, like, uh, no, 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 like mama is not gonna get sick, like not today. And so, <clears throat> but my voice sounds like raspy, but basically, I'm going to like I go to Equinox to go work out before class like I normally do on Fridays um, But like I said, I'm gonna have like, a little bit of a shorter workout, but totally fine I'm gonna grab food there. I'm instacarting food today for a recipe. I texted my friend Rachel You guys might know her Rachel Whitehurst. She she and her boyfriend Chris always cook so many delicious like vegan dinners I always see on their Instagram story, but they're always cooking and so I was like asked her like hey like any you recommend um, so I'm excited to see what she says and based on what she'll say I'll probably Instacart that stuff because I really trust her taste and when I visited her in Seattle Which was like years ago. Oh my god, there's a cop right there. I'm not on my phone or anything like that, but the camera is right there But um, when I visited her in Seattle, like, she just made such delicious food So I can't wait to see what she says and I'm gonna order those stuff those things ingredients those stuff. I love grammar um I didn't get a chance to like eat breakfast this morning like I said, so I'll get a smoothie and probably like some sort of like Thing to eat in the morning uh, after I work out. I'm gonna get ready and do my makeup there. I forgot my shower slides and I forgot my like little silk robe I wear, which I'll show you hopefully today. But yeah, basically that's it. Then I have I only have two classes, and then after that I'm headed to. Mm. Hi guys, I just wrapped up my workout and changed and did my makeup super quickly. I have like a funny story. Oh, so I'm just pulling out of the parking. I haven't eaten anything, I just bought some, I bought like seven, I'm like, you know when you're hungry and your eyes, like, like, your eyes are hungrier than your body, like, you see everything and I'm like, okay, I need all of this. I'm gonna say bye, oh, I already said, you let's say good weekend. Um, but, I'll send like pals to all the parking people at Equinox, like, they're, we're all like pals and like, it's so funny, okay, but anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so I had a really quick workout, it was like 40 minutes, normally like, I'm there for, I don't know, like, I, I'm not in a rush, maybe like an hour 30, and like, and then I take my time, um, but I was, obviously was trying to, I came a little bit later, because I left later, which is totally fine, uh, but I still had a really good workout, I just did like Stairmaster, and then weights and stuff, just like, kind of my, I like to do that like twice a week, so like, you know, I told you guys, I like to do two days of cardio, so things like that, and then the other days, Pilates or yoga, like a mix, or I, I can do three days of cardio and the other a mix. It really depends, but to kind of have it split between cardio, Pilates, and yoga, I really like that. Like, because I feel like yoga really, like, helps me center, and it's obviously so, so great for your body. It starts out my body. It's, like, definitely a workout. I sweat super hard in certain ones, and but also, like, it's, like, really... It's like almost like a, like a, it's like another spiritual practice, you know what I mean? So I really enjoy that part of it. Pilates is less of like, I would say a spiritual practice. It's more just like toning and like strength. So I really like that. And obviously I love cardio because it just like clears away any, if you feel like you're like stagnant or feel blocked and dense, go for a run. I know it sounds like so like, go for a run. Like I know when someone tells me that they feel like stagnant or stuck, I'm like, have you tried running? And they look at me like I'm deranged and I completely like understand. But sometimes the solutions are the simplest thing. Like you don't need, I'm not gonna get into this, I'm gonna check, I already feel the fight, starting to fight, but sometimes the solutions are easier than you think, like, getting enough sleep, working out, eating well, like, you would be surprised at how, like, different you'll feel doing those few things, so, yeah, I mean, obviously, like, some days it's not possible, like, I, which I completely understand, okay, I just do a highway to go have a good one! Okay, okay, so um, I definitely am going to go first here. Um, I think we both agree, have agreed, but there we go. 
I need to make this colder so it's so hot. Well, I don't mean like a jacket, but but yeah, basically that was that. What else? What was I saying? Oh, my, my so basically, so, okay, so story. So I, I knew I was running low on both my Dior Forever Foundation and my Remarkable, but for some reason, I didn't do anything about it. And then obviously like when you're in the flow, like things just work out. Like they literally just work out. I'm just telling you. So when I was at Dry Bar on Tuesday, the girl who usually she comes to my party to, to blow out my hair, I've talked about this before, but I had to go because I had stuff to do that day. Uh, like later in the day like and she would only come like in midday and so which I might, might actually have to do that this upcoming Tuesday as well I just realized but anyways she was saying how she had she, we have like really similar skin I would say like my skin's very very oily and like that, that actually usually means like Instead of trying to dry it out, you should actually use a lot of oils because it helps. Because people think that when it's dry, you should strip it. But anyway, so but not for foundation because if I put on okay, if I put on Marc Jacobs Remarkable, okay, that's supposed to be like a matte airbrush foundation, like completely matte, like no, I would say no glow at all. It's like it's like airbrush. I don't know how else to describe it. At, and by the end of the day, it looks dewy on me. Like that's how oily my skin is, which is fine. Just like honestly, I read an article about how it's better if you have oily skin because it helps prevent wrinkles. Which honestly, I don't even know if that's true because I have like very, sm I would have some really small lines in my forehead, and um, I get, I'd get like the tiniest amount of Botox put in. Like you judge me all you want. Like I sorry, I don't want lines in my forehead. And if I can, if if, it, if I can get rid of them in 30 seconds with zero pain, and it's not even, I, I, Botox is not expensive, um, and, I mean, it's depending on how much you're getting, but I'm not getting my face done, I'm just getting, like, literally two, two, like, little things, I'm very open about stuff, like, I don't, I don't know, I don't really care, um, but like, I've had those since I was super young, since I was, like, 16, I had this, these, like, two fine, like, lines in my forehead, and, like, the, the nurse is saying, she was like, yeah, it's, it can be genetic, too, so I don't know, what, I don't know if anyone else has, and you, I think it's just, I think it's a per case by case thing, honestly. I don't think you could even make a generalization because I'm sure there's studies that prove this and studies that prove that. So I don't know because, yeah, it's, not, it's just crazy that I, like, the wrinkles obviously weren't from age. It was like in my, like, I don't know, maybe that, but what I, my hypothesis is when I had really a bad vision when I was younger, I would squint all the time and so I would squint my forehead. So I feel like because I did that expression so much that caused that. So, like, once every six months, I'll get like literally two little dots, and it's like it takes 30 seconds. I'm not even exact, like actually 30 seconds, and it's like pain free. It's not expensive, so why would I pay like $300 for a wrinkle cream when I can pay like 50 and, and it take could be gone 30 seconds? I'm just I'm open. I'm not I don't know. I have nothing to hide with that. Um, but basically. I don't even get on this tangent. Oh, so yeah, so both foundations. I was okay. The girl, she's telling me about this new foundation that she ordered. It's like this she, that she was and she was wearing it and it looked so good. And I've seen her for the past few years. Like I've been going to drive her, so I know what like her skin looks like, her makeup normally looks like. I have a really great uh, candidate here. Uh, but anyway, so her skin looks really great, and so. I was like, oh my gosh, like, what is that? She's like, she's like, girl, I love this foundation. She's like, it's the new Cover FX one. She's like, I put one drop, drop of moisturizer in it too, and I feel like it helps it spread better. Not because it's too thick or too full coverage. Like, I just feel like it applies to my skin better. So I ordered it, and it's, it was delivered yesterday. So I'll show it to you today. And I, I've been really good about linking everything. My priority is to make sure I link everything for you guys because I know I mentioned like 800 things, and I don't, I don't expect. It's like I feel like it's my job to link everything. Genuinely, I do feel like that's my job. You're talking about things to, to provide links. So I will link everything and I will haul it for you guys tonight. I also will do the Lululemon haul. Today's gonna be a day of haul. I will do the Lululemon haul. I will also do the Instacart haul as soon as I figure out the recipe. Um, but yeah, also, last night, super late, was the new moon in Aquarius. So today's the new moon vibes. I'm so excited. I'm gonna be doing the ritual that I always mention in my uh, monthly membership. That's the one I do, the same one I provide to you. I do the exact same thing. So I'm super excited to do that later today. I'm, I'm surprisingly gonna be early to class today. I, it just wow like what a day you, honestly in the morning when you wake up you need to like be hardcore with your intentions i know that sounds i'm like done trying like I, every single time i explain something it's like i know when you say it, it sounds so like simple you're almost like irritated but once you realize that it is that simple then you won't be irritated anymore because you'll apply it and your life will change and you'll be like huh so when you wake up you should always say like it's a new day i've pressed restart on my day and i'm gonna have like a great day today or you can substitute the adjective for whatever kind of day you want to have maybe you want to have a peaceful day maybe you want to have a productive day you know like some days i want to have more of a peaceful day like be more in the flow and some days i have a lot of stuff to get done so i really want to be centered and focused and it really just like impacts your day so like i like set the intention today 
gonna like I'll be on time to everything, everything will work out and like I'm gonna get to class early even though I left even on like 20 minutes later than I normally do and even when I leave on time sometimes I make it barely on time so that was that but yeah I was so I'm super excited back to my like small like this is how I tell stories and I don't know what to say like it's just this is, this is real this is me it's exactly where I'm supposed to be now I'm gonna let the, see how like what a workout does I feel so much better I'm still starving because I haven't eaten anything I have a little bag of goodies they, they have cafe gratitude at earth bar so I got this um like pasta and then I got this cold kicker juice I was like high end and stuff I was like mama is not getting no not today not today um also, my mom's thing's launched today, so I'm so, so, so excited. So if you, you're interested in the so in the crystal reiki, if you soaks or the new bracelets, I'll have them all linked down below. Um, but back to my story. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know you're getting irritated at me. Okay, I'm sorry. But I, so I, I don't know, for some reason I thought that I might have a little left. Like, you know, it's hard to tell how much you have left, especially in the ones that are like, both of them are not designed the best way. First of all, the Dior one, the pump doesn't come off. I mean, I'm sure you could like use like a hardcore thing to, to like, scoop it up but it doesn't come off normally so you can't see how much is in there and then the Marc Jacobs Remarkable is a little like fishing hook so like you literally can't even see so I, I was out of foundation so I literally had to use the Urban Decay 24 hour concealerized foundation and then I had like a white makeup forever foundation stick that I use under my eyes and here I will do like an updated makeup routine and that's what I'm wearing as foundation today so hi guys so I just came to Christina we did a tone and blowout what color toner do you use in case you don't mind sharing with the world well it just depends on the day <laughs> I usually like the ashy blonde of like whatever color. Color, right? yeah. Um, and next time, or Goldwell, red can, next time we'll try gloss. Because yeah. I love, so when you get fresh extensions, they're super glossy. But then after a few times, it washes off. So next time we come, we will do a gloss. What we can do next Friday? Yeah, we want to do next Friday. Yeah, yeah that'd be so good. Yay, so I really love. Just want to say a quick hello. hello, hello. <laughs> and then these are the 20, I was telling you, I didn't know if they were 22 inch, but they are the 22 inch they Bellamy. They are the 22 inch ones. Do they, ha sure. do, they, do they have 24 or no? Um, I don't know. I don't think they do, but they might in certain. What, what extensions do you have? Will you share? <gasps> these are Dreamcatcher's extensions 20 inch. Ooh. Two do colors. A, do a mix? A blonde yes. and lighter? Yeah, I have like a little bit of like, Will you do a little turnaround to show your full head? Wow, look at that.